Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. How long does it take to do a QuickBooks Online Cleanup? Let's find out. Are you trying to figure out how long it takes to do a QuickBooks Online Cleanup? I'm sure that will help you to plan your resources and also to price a QuickBooks Online Cleanup. Let's go over some things you should consider to figure out how long it takes to do a QuickBooks Online Cleanup. Consider the number of months that need to be cleaned up. Is it three months? Is it 12 months? That will certainly affect how long it'll take. Also, the number of bank and credit card accounts. How many bank and credit card accounts does the client have? Remember to ask about accounts that perhaps are not in QuickBooks and even to confirm with the client if they've told you about all of the bank accounts that they use for their business. Sometimes there are accounts that they have forgotten about and other times they are using personal accounts that you don't know about. Determine the volume of transactions. How many transactions do they have a month? Is it 50, 300, 600? That will affect how long it takes to do the cleanup. Um, also determine the extent of the cleanup involved. Uh, like, do they have undeposited funds that are really old? Are there old uncleared bank reconciliation items? Are there uncategorized transactions, maybe miscategorized transactions? perhaps have some extensive cleanup that you have to do to their accounts receivable. So you do have to determine the extent of the cleanup and not just getting their books caught up or getting the bank reconciliation done. In fact, I encourage you to check out a previous video that I did with strategies for diagnosing a QuickBooks online cleanup. Also consider, at a minimum, how long will it take to reconcile all of the bank and credit card accounts for the period that you're cleaning up? Uh, what about the time back and forth communicating with the client and requesting information that they need? Time supervising any employees or contractors that you're using uh, during the cleanup? Think about all of these things. Here are some guidelines to clean up or catch up an entire year. For a very small client, it's probably a minimum of an hour a month. So that's already 12 hours. When you add the communication and time going back and forth, that's probably 15 hours of time. For a medium-sized client, probably a minimum of three hours a month. So you, there you would be estimating about 40 hours total. And keep in mind that these are guidelines and estimates and you should use your own judgment to make the best determination. But at least th this gives you a, an idea of about how long it should take. And of course, there's always the money question and the money conversation that you need to have with your clients. Remember to always get paid upfront for cleanup. You should never be doing cleanup and not getting paid for it. That's just asking for trouble. Uh, clients may question what you're doing. They may decide they're not going to pay you. And let's face it, if you're going to put anywhere from 15 to, to 40 hours into a project and your client doesn't pay you, that's extremely costly to you and not a very good use of your time. So make sure that you get at least 50% upfront of your estimated fee. I'm Veronica Wasek. Check the description box below for free resources and a link to my Facebook community of bookkeepers. If this content is helpful, then like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos. Bye!